When it comes to CF Express Type A cards, they're a little limiting because they could really only be used in Sony cameras. And I've been getting a lot of questions on why should I use CF Express Type A cards, especially because they're a lot more expensive than V90 SD cards, which most Sony users can get away with a V90 SD card. I mean, they work with most of the codecs and frame rates in cameras like the FX30, FX3, so on and so forth, up to 4K, 24 frames per second at the highest bitrate mode in the camera, also 4K, 30 frames per second. But then once you go to 4K60, 4K120 in the highest bitrate modes, you do need to use a CF Express Type A card. But there's also other reasons why you'd want to use a CF Express Type A card. And today, we're going to be looking at the Existend 360 gigabyte CF Express Type A card because let's face it, they're expensive, especially if you buy directly from Sony. The past year, I've been using an 80 gigabyte and 160 gigabyte CF Express Type A card with my FX30. And it's been for a few reasons, not just to film at some of the higher frame rates, but they're really expensive. It's why I had an 80 in a 160 gig. Now, Existen reached out to see if I would be interested in collaborating on something, and they sent me this CF Express Type A card to talk about. Now, to be fully transparent, they wanted me to do a review on it. It's really hard to do a review on a memory card, especially when you don't have it for a really long period of time because there's anything that could happen. You know, if you're using this card all the time, what's going to be the longevity of the read and write on the card? I can't really get into any of that. So all I can do when talking about this card is just discuss my usage with it and how it compares to something like Sony's CF Express Type A card. Easiest thing that's testable is the read and write speeds of each card. So I pulled up the disk speed test from Blackmagic and I tested both cards. Now what's interesting is on the Sony card, I got a 513.3 megabyte sustained write speed and a 621 megabyte sustained read speed. But on the Existen card, I actually got a 601.1 sustained write speed, while I got a 546 megabyte per second read speed. And what's interesting is the Existen has a slightly higher sustained write speed, it looks like, than the Sony card, but then the Sony card has a slightly higher sustained read speed. So do take that in mind, but it seems from my use that both cards work with all the modes, at least on the Sony FX30. As far as the reasons why you'd want to use CF Express Type A cards, if you're not doing something like filming in the frame rates or high bit rate modes that need it has to do with offloading. Now, when I'm on set and I've been using the FX30 as a secondary camera, using CF Express Type A cards has been absolutely essential because when it comes to the offload speed, you know, giving this card to a DIT, having them take the footage off and give me the card back in a reasonable amount of time, the transfer speeds on the CF Express Type A cards absolutely blow away SD cards. It's not even a comparison. One of the first cameras I had that really reminded me of this was the Red Komodo uses CFast 2.0 cards. The read and write speeds are pretty fast on those cards. So when I was giving them to a DIT, I'd get them back in a reasonable amount of time. And then on certain sets, I was using V90 SD cards with the FX30, and I just noticed the offload time was way slower, like not usable slower. It would take way too long on a 512 card. So then at that point, I already had an 80 gigabyte card. I started to use that. It's just not that much data. At that point, I noticed the offload speeds were just way faster, and that's when I picked up the 160 gigabyte card. But even 160, 80, if you're shooting on set, it's probably not gonna be enough data, but to get much bigger cards, there's just way more expensive than you could get from some of these third-party alternatives. And Existend isn't the only third-party option. There are other companies making CF Express Type A cards that are considerably cheaper than Sony's offering. You may also be asking, what should I look for if I'm buying a third-party card compared to a Sony card because there is a huge price difference? And really, it comes down to two things in my opinion. The first big thing is it's gonna come down to the read and write speeds. The second thing, which I alluded to earlier, is the long-term survivability of these cards. How long are they gonna last if you're constantly reading and writing to them? Are they gonna last you three years, five years, 10 years? Or if you're using it 
it all the time? Are they only going to last you a year? That I really can't answer, but that's one of the things that you do have to be cautious when using some of these third-party cards because in the past, a lot of users who have used just general third-party cards from various companies, I'm not talking about Existend or Pergear or any of these companies that make CFA cards, but I've just seen it on third-party cards where they tend not to last just quite as long if they get the read speeds, the write speeds. I don't know how that's going to be on this Existend card, and I don't want to sit here and tell you that it is going to last longer or it isn't because that's just not fair. It's not being honest. So that I can't answer. But what I can talk about is the build quality of these cards, and they're just as good, if not better, than the Sony, which I think is a really big thing. Uh, something that I heard with some of the other brands that the build quality isn't that great on them. They're more plasticky. Overall, I've been using the Existend cards for a lot of my YouTube videos, so I could also shoot at the higher bit rate for some of these talking heads and not have to worry about you know hitting the edge of what kind of space I have the limit to the space I have on the cards so it's been really easy to just get going especially with 24p content on slow-mo content for the price that you get these 360 gig card is sitting at around $300 compared to the equivalent Sony card you're just getting a huge savings on these Existend cards. So I do want to thank Existend for sending this card out. It's worked really great for my use. If you have any questions on this Existend card, please let me know in the comments below. If you got knowledge and value out of today's video, please make sure to hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell to keep up to date with the latest videos on the channel. I'm also going to be talking about some card readers from various companies, which I'll be putting Existend's readers up against some of these other readers I have coming in that have some really cool features that no one else is really doing. So make sure to stay tuned for that. But until next time, my name's Jeff Fagan. Thank you for joining me as always, and I will catch you in the next video.